In the depths of the Indian Ocean, an audacious Somali pirate attack was about to unfold. On a frigid January morning, the crew of a Spanish warship rested completely unaware of the impending danger that lay ahead. Meanwhile, the pirates were prepared for one of their most daring assaults. What drove these pirates to challenge one of the toughest warships? How did the intense clash play out, and who emerged triumphant in this heart-pounding high seas confrontation? Somali pirates continue to pose a threat in the waters off East Africa, however, they might benefit from re-evaluating their target selection and refraining from aiming their attacks at European warships. Why? Well, keep watching. Somali pirates exhibited excessive audacity by launching an attack on a Spanish warship, which also served as the flagship for the European Union's fleet involved in a counter-piracy mission off the coast of Somalia. In November 2011, the Spanish Navy's replenishment ship, the Patino, embarked on a five-month deployment to the Indian Ocean. This mission was an integral part of the European Union's counter-piracy operation known as Operation Atalanta. Upon its arrival in the theater in December 2011, the Patino assumed the role of the fleet flagship, which meant it took on significant command responsibilities within the framework of Atalanta. The flagship's role, as defined by the EU, encompassed the exercise of command and control over all military forces in the operational area. It entailed the planning, orchestration, and execution of tactical military activities and contributing to the operational planning carried out at the operational headquarters. Fast forward two months into its deployment in mid-January 2020, 12, and the Patino was entrusted with escorting a cargo ship to the Indian Ocean, bound for the Somali capital of Mogadishu. On the night of January 11th, the merchant vessel arrived in Mogadishu, commencing the unloading of its valuable cargo, while the Patino stationed itself 50 kilometers off the coast, preparing to rejoin the cargo ship the next morning. Despite the rough seas and harsh weather conditions, the Spanish warship's crew anticipated a relatively quiet night in terms of pirate activity, resulting in a lowered state of alertness. However, at around 5.30 local time on January 12th, the unexpected occurred. Commander Enrique Cabero, the captain of the Patino, vividly remembers that approximately 45 minutes before sunrise, the ship came under attack by a group of pirates in a small skiff. The skiff carried seven individuals who opened fire on the Spanish vessel using AK-47 rifles, mistakenly believing the Patino was a freighter. In the ensuing two-minute gun battle, the Patino's hull and funnel were struck by around 50 bullets. In response, the Spanish sailors utilized their light armament to return fire. When the pirates persisted with their aggression, the Spanish sailors employed what the Spanish Ministry of Defense referred to as self-defense fire. This compelled the skiff to withdraw and flee the scene. Following the exchange of gunfire, one of Patino's SH-3 Sea King helicopters pursued the motorboat for a distance of 3,000 yards or 2,700 meters. The helicopter issued warnings to the attackers through a megaphone and ultimately brought them to a halt by firing a burst across the boat's bow with its machine gun. During the pursuit, the pirates jettisoned three ladders, two bags, and seven rifles. Spanish personnel captured six men, five of whom sustained injuries, with three in serious condition. The pirates claimed that a seventh crew member was killed during the firefight, and his body fell into the sea. The damaged skiff was confiscated by Spanish authorities after the incident. Eloy Velasco, the judge overseeing the Audiencia Nacional of Spain, directed that the arrested men be transported to Spain for questioning on charges of piracy, possession of illegal weapons, damage to government property, and assault on members of the security forces. Velasco asserted that, given the attack transpired against Spanish citizens in international waters without any existing agreement with another country to prevent a Spanish trial, the case fell under Spanish jurisdiction. During their trial in Spain, all six men entered not guilty pleas contending that they were fishermen seeking assistance at sea when they approached the Patino. In October 2013, a Spanish court convicted the men of attempted piracy, imposing eight-year prison sentences. One of them, Ahmoud al Mahu, received an additional four-and-a-half-year term after being found guilty of association with a criminal organization. In April 2014, the prosecution successfully appealed the initial sentence lengths, arguing that the act constituted an actual attack on the ship, not just an attempt. Consequently, an additional five years were added to each sentence, resulting in prison terms ranging from 13 to 17 and a half years. Now, put yourself in the shoes of the Spanish warship's crew. How do you think you would handle the shock and chaos of a pirate attack at sea? What emotions and decisions do you believe would be running through your mind?